Hey guys, look Fog here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we'll be taking a look at the new La Liga League SBC player. That's a bit of a mouthful, oh my god. Um, I'm a bit annoyed with myself, I really really am. Uh, I will not be reviewing the the new player that's been put into the new um, Liga Santander SBC because... I haven't prepared enough for it. I thought I still had like another 48 hours because of course with the Premier League on Tuesday, Maguire was put into the Premier League SBC section here. He was added to that section and I thought I still had like a few more days to grind the bronze pack, the silver pack method to complete a lot of these other teams basically for free and I haven't been able to do so. And a few people might say, why can't you just go and do these nine teams now? Osasuna, I've only got like four of the players for. Lekin has like about five of the players for. Granada, about half the team for. Mallorca, like about half the team for. Those SBCs, uh, or those particular teams, like their silvers and stuff like that, are going to go up so much, just like uh, Norwich and uh, Sheffield did for the Premier League. I'm not making the same mistake again this time. But what I will say is, we're going to take a look at the new card that has been added, though, and uh, why I think it is a fantastic card, because he looks superb. Uh, I believe his name is Chimmy Avia. I think it's the guy that used to play um, for Huesca last season in their only campaign in uh, Liga Santander. He went to Osasuna this season. Uh, of course, they came up from uh, the second division uh, from last season. I believe they're guaranteed to stay up. I think no matter what, obviously, we know the situation with leagues right now. It's a bit of a complicated situation, but I think Osasuna have done pretty well since they got promoted this season. And that card looks sensational. And I want to confirm to Luis Suarez. I really, really do, because it's very, very interesting. I have got up on the screen right now what the cost is of uh, La Liga. Uh, on PlayStation, it's 285k. On Xbox, it's 305k. Now... They're going to go up even more. This SBC will probably go to about half a million. Like, literally, there's going to be so much hype around an Argentine, like, an Argentine-Argentine striker from a big league with 97 pace. There's going to be so much hype around that card. Uh, but I do want to kind of, hopefully, he's been added into the concept he should have been. And I want to have a look at his in-game stats. What kind of weak force, what kind of skill moves has he been given? I will do the SBC. It's just I'm going to have to do it offline. I'm not spending stupid amount of coins right now to do it. I'll just do the SBC next week, just completely off video. But uh, yeah, I hold my hands up to that one, guys. It was my fault. I should have been more prepared for the SBC. I'm going to make sure that for the Bundesliga, which should be coming up this week, I'm going to make sure I'm ready by like Friday and have like all the teams complete but there is Chimmy Avia there hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right so compared to Suarez first we've got six more pace yes for enough eight less shooting a lot less passing uh seven less dribbling uh less physical obviously he's not quite as good a card but even so he still looks obviously pretty decent um three star skills that's okay Probably not for like top 100 players. It's not ideal. Four star weak foot's fine. Though high high work rate's a bit interesting. Five foot eight. I would like him to. I think that's a little bit too small to be quite honest. Um, in my personal opinion, but his in game stats. Ooh. No, this is a nice card. I mean, sensational pace. Um. Very nice shooting stats, although I would I would want that position to go a little bit further, but obviously a cam style can quickly finish that, you know, or can quickly improve that, like a sniper cam style or something like that. 91 finishing class, 94 shot power is awesome as well. His passing stats are decent, 79 vision, 82 shot passing is fine for a striker. Uh, fantastic dribbling stats, obviously because he's so small and he's got that 99 balance and, uh, and 89 agility, he's going to feel so agile and so easy to turn with. He's going to be a menace to opposition players with that there. 94 strength is very interesting as well, but... You know, is his strength going to be that good for a 5 foot 8 player? Will he actually feel like he's got 94 strength? I don't know on that one. 80 stamina is a problem. To me, it, he looked like a fantastic impact sub, like a Ryan Kent or something like that. But in terms of starting him, I can just see that 80 stamina being a massive, massive problem. In terms of traits, he's got literally nothing apart from the AI traits of long shot take, which obviously isn't great. Um, listen, with this SBC costing about 305k, would I say that's worth it? If he was on the market, he wouldn't be 305k. I'll tell you that right now. I reckon this card... We, look, look, we've seen cards like Teams, he's an Oblak. Fair enough, Oblak's a goalkeeper. But Oblak goes for, what, like 150k? It's like a 96 rated Teams, he's a goalkeeper. Uh, Teams, he's in Santi Cazorla, goes for like... What, 210,000 coins and is 94 rated and like an amazing cam in this game. There's so many more awesome cards. I mean, I want obviously there is like the Lucas Perez team this season card as well. Not quite a, I want to have a look at Lucas Perez just for a second, of course, from... Um, from Deportivo Alaves and just kind of compare their stats because of course he's a very very cheap but very very good looking striker now comparing the two cards he's got three more dribbling Perez eight less pace two more shooting a bunch more passing and less physical but the interesting thing is Lucas Perez on the whole is you know 
So uh, basically what I'm trying to get around is that, you know, Lucas Perez is better in some areas and not better in, in other areas. But on the whole, they kind of balance themselves out to be still pretty kind of similar-ish cards. If you kind of get one, I'm probably not explaining it very well, so I apologize for that. But he's under, like he's not even selling for 87,000 coins. And he's got much more passing, much more dribbling. Yes, he has got a lot more pace, but 89 pace is still fine. He's got two more shooting as well. And an and 85 physical is still fine for a strike. He's got more skill moves. Um, he's got a little bit more height, which is obviously a lot more good. He's got three more stamina as well. You know what? I'd argue that this card could be better. I really, really do. He's got, well, I mean, not the best traits, but... It's very, very interesting. I think that card, Lucas Perez, is just as good as Chimmy Avia. I think this card's decent, and obviously, if you've got like a lot of the, if you can pretty much do the SBC for free anyway, then by all means go and do him. But at the same time, you know, you can pick this guy up as a tradable card for like 250,000 coins cheaper, and he'll be just as good, if not better. This is a card that has got a better, slightly better, obviously, with the, you know, the extra skill moves. Both of them are left footed, which I don't really like myself personally. But, I mean, obviously, 83 stamina still isn't fantastic, but, you know, it's a lot better than 80 at the end of the day. I mean, I hmm, I wouldn't pay full whack for this Chimia Via card. And, obviously, what well, the interesting thing is, this SPC is going to go to about half a million. Don't pay half a million for this coins guy, uh, for this guy. Honestly, just grind through the upgrade packs instead over the next few days. Wait for more upgrade packs to come up with like the La Liga uh, premium packs and stuff like that. Do not pay full whack for him. Don't get me wrong, he's got some very, very nice good stats. But, as you can see here, with someone like a Lucas Perez, who is better in dribbling, better in passing, better in shooting. He's better than three of the stat categories. You know, and shooting is a very important stack category. Dribbling is an important stack category. He's better in two very important stack categories for a striker. So um, I, I look at this and I just think um, nice card to have. But yeah, I wouldn't pay even like 250k for him personally. I mean, I'm going to be able to grind towards him for free over the next few days, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's an interesting card. You know, I'm kind of like the EA yeah, releasing more cards from like lower clubs and stuff like that from... Um, from the League of Up Pairs, it's an SBC that if you haven't got any of the teams already done, I wouldn't really do them in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.